Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting knife that I've had the opportunity to carry off and on as part of my EDC for a couple of months now. This is from a company called Crane Tech and this particular model is their Tempest model. Now I actually had an opportunity to check out this knife while I was at Blade Show in June of 2023, so a couple of months ago. And I was speaking to the gentleman who was actually the owner and the designer of the Tempest. And he was just telling me about how the design came about and the reasoning for this particular knife. Now again, this is going to be a self-defense tool. So I want to make sure that you understand that when you're looking at purchasing something like this, I always advocate to make sure that you are either trained or capable in using that particular tool. So anything that you're going to rely, um, you know, make, to save your life with or to defend yourself or something like that, you should definitely be proficient and trained on. So when you take a look at this knife, just keep that in mind. Again, um, I was discussing with the gentleman, um, you know, and as far as doing a video on this because I like to promote new companies and especially these type of items where they're not something that you can easily go into a store and pick up. Um, you know, you want to make sure that you're doing an educated uh, purchase. So that's why I have this here for you. He was able to provide me one so I could take it with me. Um, I've actually been carrying it as part of my EDC just to test it out and see how it feels and stuff like that. And I can tell you it is a great option. Again, the company is called Crane Tech and this particular knife is called the Tempest. So as you open up the box, you have the knife sitting right on top here. Um, I actually repackaged everything um, just so you guys can see what it looks like. But we will set this off to the side side and lift up this portion here and underneath you have a couple different things first things first you do have this little card here and it's basically just kind of showing you one of the ways that you can carry the knife here so let me get in a little closer here it is um, clipped onto the belt and then you have your firearm right there so again sometimes um, folks that do carry firearms they want to carry different options. I'm not going to care. I'm not going to say that this is a less than lethal option because obviously if you're pulling out a knife, it's, you know, it's getting pretty serious. So um, that's really cool that they include that. You also have a little um, cloth here. So microfiber cloth to kind of clean off the blade if you wanted to. And then you do have your sheath here. This is a Kydex sheath. Um, I like the fact that it is um, minimal enough. You're not, you don't have this big bulky sheath um, because again, when you are carrying this, you want to make sure that um, you know, you, it's, it's incognito, I, I guess you would say. You don't want to let everybody know that you have, you know, a knife like this on you. And uh, you do have these metal clips, which are really nice. I like the fact that it's two clips, but um, they're actually uh, kind of one piece in the top right here. You are able to rotate this to carry it left-handed, right-handed. So, you know, depending on how it is that you want to carry it. Um, and it, it's actually a great uh, retention on the sheath. I'll show you guys that in a second. So let's go ahead and take a look at the knife itself. Here it is. You do have a little guard in the front here. So I love, love, love the profile of this knife. Um, I think, you know, it, it just screams that, uh, you know, leave me alone, basically. Um, you know, and, and again, if, you, if you're, like I mentioned, if you're pulling something like this out, you know, it's gotten to the point where um, you either have to defend yourself or, you know, get somebody off of you or something like that, then you want a very capable tool to be able to do that. And that's one of the, um, the kind of thought process behind this particular knife. Again, and speaking to the gentleman, he said, you know, he's um, he's looked at a lot of different options for, for personal defense knives out there, especially for folks that are, you know, very versed and trained and stuff like that that and then he couldn't find anything so he went ahead and designed his own so a couple things on the knife itself you have an overall length of 7.25 inches so again you do have um, it's not a tiny little knife that you're gonna have to worry about it slipping out of your hands or something like that um, and then they actually added this crambit style ring in the back here which locks the knife in your hand right there so whether it is if you're holding it in the standard grip or if you're holding it in reverse grip, you know, your finger going through that ring, you know that the knife is not going to, you know, come out, especially if you get into a situation where, um, you know, you don't want it to. So you do have your handle scales right up here, which um, are very grippy with that, um, that design on them, which is really, really nice. And then just the, uh, the two kind of screws that go through there, um, you know, it, it, 
locks in your hand very nicely. You do have some jimping right at the top right there, which is good because again, you want to make sure that nothing is moving around, especially because of this particular style blade here. So you guys can see it is a very wide blade, but it is what they're calling a double-edged Tonto blade. So um, if you know a Tonto, you know, you have uh, basically a kind of straight edge and then it curves very rapidly and then you have a secondary one at the top straight edge and then curves very rapidly to the towards the bottom there and they meet in this uh, pretty wicked point right there now obviously the purpose for that is depending on how you are maneuvering this knife either you know forwards backwards whatever grip you have it in um, there is going to be an edge portion to um, to the knife there so even if you were in a situation where, you know, it's just, you're kind of compromised or something like that, and all you could do is kind of slash around, um, you know, you're still going to be able to defend yourself thanks to that um, double-edged tanto blade. Uh, as far as the steel on this, this is actually S35 VN stainless steel. So that's another really big plus. Um, a lot of times you might see these personal defense edge weapons and they um, kind of jump out on the steel, you know, maybe 440 or something like that. Again, not saying that that's, that's a bad steel, but you do want something that is going to hold an edge, um, even though you're not, you know, you shouldn't be using this for anything else, but that particular purpose, um, you know, you want to make sure that when you, when and if you need it, it's going to be razor, razor sharp. And I can tell you right from the box, it is razor, razor sharp. All the edges are, um, you know, razor sharp, which is what you really want from something, something like this. The blade is also a PVD coated, which um, obviously aids in, um, you know, the retention of the blade itself as far as, you know, it not... Um, rusting or anything like that, especially if you're going to be putting it through um, a particular instance where you might need it, you know, you don't want it to um, be rusted or anything like that out there. As far as the blade goes, the length of the blade itself is 2.75 inches. So again, it is a not a long blade, but it is um, wide. But for the particular purpose, um, you know, I think that's more than enough of what you would need, especially because um, the shorter blade length actually lends itself to be able to conceal carry it a lot better. So taking a look at the blade going into the sheath, so you can see it locks very nicely right in there. Now you do have this um, kind of cant towards the bottom here. Um, it's just natural when you go when you you know go go ahead and retrieve it, um, you know, to have that cant right there because you could go ahead and uh, disengage the blade from the sheath very, very naturally. Um, and to the point where uh, if you're wearing it, you are actually able to reach the blade with either hand. Again, the idea is if you were to have something like this and maybe a firearm as well, depending on uh, if you're left-handed or right-handed, your firearm would be in your, um, uh, your dominant side, and then this would probably be sitting, as you saw in the picture here, on your kind of what they would call weaker side. So again, if you're right-handed, your gun, um, you know, stuff like that. In this particular instance, the person actually has them both in the same side. But um, the way that I've been carrying it is that way. I just have my firearm kind of like towards my right side, and then the Tempest here kind of sitting more towards the left. I can reach over with my right hand if I had to, you know, again, my dominant side hand, but if I had to reach down with my... Um, you know, weaker side or left side, left hand, I can go ahead and, um, you know, disengage it from the sheath. And I am actually already in the reverse grip, as you guys can see right there. And again, I'm doing this behind the camera, but you know, it would come out in reverse grip already versus if I were to use my dominant hand, again, my fingers going into that, I'm pushing off and it's coming out in the regular grip right there. So um, very, very comfortable in hand, as I already mentioned, and as it should be, you know, I, I'm not feeling any type of sore spots or anything like that. And I do like the fact that you do have your kind of cut out of your finger grooves right there. Mine land perfectly in there. Um, I feel that if, if they were to, there were to be any type uh, uh, of deeper grooves or something like that, or even further apart, sometimes my fingers don't align, but with the Tempest here, they align perfectly and it feels natural in the hand. Uh, again, you do have that karambit style ring right there, but this is not, it doesn't have that aggressive angle that a regular karambit would have. So it feels more natural, especially if you're not um, maybe maybe that proficient with, um, you know, uh, 
fighting with an edge weapon or something like that, then um, you know if you're in the learning process or whatnot, you can go ahead and uh, pick this up and it won't be that intimidating. Now, speaking of training, um, you do have the ability when you go through and order these to actually order them with a trainer as well. So if you wanted to um, maybe pick up the live blade and a trainer, you have the ability to do that. And I think that is great because practice, 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 that is always a good philosophy. Um, you know, in this particular case, this one only came with the live blade and the sheath, but you will have the ability to order the, um, the combo package with a training blade as well. And that is really cool. So I will leave a link to the Crane Tech website below um, in case you guys are interested in maybe finding out some more information on the knife, maybe some more information on the company, the philosophy, and, you know, as I already mentioned, maybe how they came about or something like that. Or if you like what you see and you want to go ahead and order one, by all means, I would definitely recommend that if you're in the market for something like this, or maybe you've been looking for something and you just kind of what is unable to find one, um, like, you know, why the Tempest came about, then um, I would definitely recommend that you check it out because I think it is a great option for that particular purpose. And I think it's um, it's very well built. Uh, I love the fact that it's S35VN on the steel. Um, I like the fact that they threw in the karambit ring because a lot of folks, uh, a lot of companies, uh, in order to keep the size of the actual um, blade or the actual tool a little bit smaller, they forgo, you know, um, the handle size. So um, this is, even though it makes it a little a little longer, it um, it definitely pays off in the execution of when you have to, or if you have to, go ahead and pull out the Tempest to use it. So um, there it is. If you guys uh, are interested, go ahead and check out that link. Uh, maybe order some. They do have a couple other different sheath colors and different models on the um, the Tempest. They actually they also have. Uh, again, like I said, the ability to order the uh, trainer with it. So if you guys are interested in doing that, I would recommend that you do that as well. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.